One of the most important things soldiers learn here at Fort Huachuca is something many of you may have seen on TV. It's a military form of CSI or battlefield forensics, and we got a chance to join them on some eye-opening field exercises. This is probably the closest I will ever get to walking in a soldier's boots. It's hot, 108 degrees, and it's getting hotter. We are walking through the desert, wearing layers that are beginning to feel more like weights than clothing. My uniform, a protective Kevlar vest, and a heavy, tight-fitting helmet, so sweat is pouring out of me. But wait a minute, I have no right to complain. The soldiers around me, they have it a lot worse. Dressed in full gear, and they are in it for the long haul. Ford Wachuca has never done this before, allowing me to participate in something no civilian gets to do. I get to be part of this intensive CSI training. That's CSI, Crime Scene Investigation. The intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance is done by the intelligence school that's based out of Fort Huachuca, and we train all the intelligence operators for the Department of Army. We also have the Human Intelligence Center here as well, and that is for all services. Our young college graduates that are transitioning into um, roles as military intelligence officers and professionals learn about site exploitation. And site exploitation is CSI military style. And it's one of the major disciplines that we have in military intelligence. We are approaching a mock Afghan village that we're supposed to secure. We have been told to expect the unexpected. Suddenly, we come up on someone who's captured an insurgent. The man who's playing the detainee is actually Captain Brooks. And he is an expert at this kind of military training. Mr. Brooks. And as you can see, Captain Brooks does not hold back, and he expects the same from his troops. They quickly defuse the situation while others enter the shack where we find a military crime scene. They take photos one. and prints just like any police CSI unit. We need pictures of all the prints before we lift okay. it. Did you have to beef up this particular side of the military as a result of the recent battles that we've been engaged in? Yes, um, we did have to develop this um, and we did a lot of that here at Fort Huachuca because uh, we're one of the major proponents for it, um, besides the military police, the uh, criminal investigation division, so that our folks know how to use it properly, um, so that they know what type of technology is available to them. So it's something as basic as rolling a fingerprint or using the BATS hide system, which is basically a computer and camera which can tell you this is a good or bad person based on their iris skin mm -hmm. or their fingerprint. I then go back outside and discover the insurgent is loose again. Other way, other way. I can't even work up the nerve to point my rifle at him. But the soldiers, as you can see, use real military force and they take him down again in an instant. For a moment, I forget that this isn't real. I'm doing my best trying not to get in the way. And I'm struck by how young these men and women are. I am stunned at how intense it all is. And this is only training. In a while, I get to take off all the gear and go home. They come back tomorrow and stay for weeks to finish their training. Then many go off to Afghanistan or Iraq to protect and defend.